Okay, hi. Okay, guys, I hope you come back. Sorry. Uh, learned my lesson that I cannot... Um, hmm. Set up my, my phone <laughs> on my camera thingy, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to play with it just a bit because I have a makeup sponge here. I'm trying to hold up my phone to my... Um, this is not working now. Come on! Anyways, I hope you guys are coming back. And I appreciate you guys ag agreeing for me to start a new stream because that really helps me out. Because that was awful. That was an awful starting. Oh, the coffee making part. If you guys caught that, that was fun. I was making coffee. But hey. Showing off my my tree maybe but I mean nothing else was really exciting about that so I'm throwing on some green now I don't even know if I want to do this but um we could do something else so if you guys have suggestions I'm gonna have to craft up uh just because I can't set up this uh my phone camera on and if I get a phone call that sucks because that'll be my husband calls me by like a bazillion times a day. Uh, I don't know why. He does. But I'll try to ignore it and then whatever. We'll see what happened there. So now it is really green. What do you guys, what should we do? What should we do? Thank you Muggsy. This is a really small canvas. This is really cute. I like the color. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Should we do something bigger? Guys, tell me what you want to see today. I was playing with this because I'm like, I was dusting my tree this morning, my ficus. And I'm really like, oh, I just want to see green leaves, green plants. I want this cold to just go away now. It's nice and warm now, but it's like not really nice and warm. Like, you know what I mean? Like a Chinook here. As you guys, some of you might have been following some of my other streams, there was like really freezing, like Arctic weather happening over here. I like this kind of background. Isn't it cool? So, what do you envision in this greenish background, guys? Tell me your vision. I'm going to scoot here. I gotta get better at this. I'm so sorry. I'm really not great at this. I get better at the live thing is really hard, especially when you're just doing it on a phone. Thank you for the thumbs up. So I have this little green canvas. Um, you're melting now. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice weather now. The Chinook came over the mountains. The it's uh, windy, but that's because you know the the, the way the air comes in. Okay, somebody has to have a vision for this. I'm just going to go with what you guys have. So be creative. It's just um, the green had to be there because I was just thinking about plants and green and stuff. But so I want to create whatever you guys want today here. So um, it's one of those days where I don't, I don't want to think. So... I might have to run and grab my computer if you need me to do an image. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Come on. Come on. It's looking nice. I like the... I don't know if you guys could probably see it or not, but it's so far away. I just like the way the strokes of the white cream. It's buttermilk. Light butter. My favorite white. I have a few favorite uh, weird colors. I have this yellowy, amber, umber, yellow color. I'm gonna move. Guys, I hope you're still there. Good. Sorry, I told you my husband was gonna call. He's okay with me. I have like I'm streaming. Can I call you back later? Yes, it worked. I was like, if I ignore him, I'm gonna have to be running upstairs to the house phone. I have one of those old house phones. The uh, What's it called? You put your finger in there? The ruler, ruler, whatever. Uh, can't think of the name. It's on top of my mouth. And 
Yeah, it is beautiful. And um, anyways, it's like an olive. Is it called olive green? No, it's not really dark. It's like a really guacamole green. It's really pretty foam. I have a black one too. Anyways, it's got that old ring, and I think you guys probably have heard it before. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I'm going in different directions. Tell me what to paint, guys. I'm liking this color. I might have to add a little bit of green, darker green. I'm still not. I'm just adding background. Tell me what to paint. Tell me what you want. I'm going to grab. Where's black paint? There's black ink. I want black paint. I try not to bend down in front of you guys anymore. Like I'm totally torturing you guys. Ah. Nope, that's white. Oh, there's kind of blue. Do we want blue in there? Think, think, think. Here's some really old something. Really old. What do we want? Okay. No one's saying anything. I'm putting a little bit of Indian turquoise. I'm going to shake it up. Okay, guys. I'm totally giving you an opportunity to make me work here. Mugsy. Somebody. Okay. What should we do? What are you guys doing today right now? Tell me that. Oh, I like it. Might be too blue. But I like it. Throw some green in there. Spring babies. Fawn. We could do that. I don't know. Okay. So. Gonna get my spring babies on. Mixing a little green with that blue. Okay, let's do a little this here. Spring babies. Maybe we could do like a, a Bambi or something. Bambi. Okay. Good afternoon to you too. Okay, well maybe some flowers. Okay. Sounds great. I'm trying to get a little bit of a getting out too blended in here. I'm thinking that that would be good, like maybe a little Bambi theme or something. Flowers is cute. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, I got my background going on here. So I'm just doing a kind of rough, it, I don't know. That will kind of come in after, I think. But now I have a vision of the forest, kind of, um, and the sunlight coming through. And it's really rough and choppy at the moment, but that's okay. So we just got to get uh, my Bambi thing going or something. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. That sounds great. We're going to do a little Bambi theme. I'm going to run and grab some more water. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, you, you were working on your vision board? That's awesome. Thank you for liking the channel. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to run and grab more water because I'm really dirty water. 
and grab maybe my computer um, because I haven't seen Bambi in super long time. And I'll do a Bambi theme for you guys with some flowers or something like that. Does that sound good? Thumbs up if that sounds good or like a yay. I'll just be like two shakes of a cat's tail running off and doing that. Two shakes. I'm going to run my water. more prepared for for paint but I didn't realize how much lack of water I did have and bear with me two shakes of a cat's tail get on to Bambi and I have so many old paints here to use up but that'd be perfect <sighs> okay sorry Bambi um I could have grabbed my grandson's record I bought him a Bambi record I'd have to flip through all the LPs though okay so my water will go up here we're gonna do I got, I'm pushing in them. Bambi, he's first born as a fawn, I think. Is that is that what you guys wanna see, Spring Bambi? Or do we wanna see like King Bambi or whatever, like after he's been with his father for a bit? Cause that would be fun too, but that's a little canvas. King Bambi, I picture like taller. That could be the next one. <laughs> The series before and after. I'm sorry, I do need a picture of a reference picture of Bambi, so I had to grab my computer. I'm not that. My brain cannot remember what Bambi looks like. I wish I could be that um, picture. What's that called? Memory? Photo, photo. Yeah, see, can't even remember the words. Oh, but don't we dream of Bambi, spring, spring Bambi. Oh, there is a picture of him as uh, the king, let's see here, with a little fawn. Isn't that cute? Alright. So, we want... Oh, there's even ones with little budding horns. Okay, I'm going to take a second to look through these quick images. And we're going to do a fun Bambi with... How about this one? Is this too... Or we can do a fun Bambi just playing with his friends. Oh, I like this one. Okay. I know, it's so cute, right? What did it do? Did it move? Ooh, it's not going into focus. We will find one. I like the one where he's with flower, which I know it's different flower, but we'll have, there's different flowers there too, but I like flower too, but I don't know where I can find my black. And, oh, and Thumper. Which Bambi will we do? I gotta make my decision. Oh. Bambi with yellow flowers. You want to do flower? 
<laughs> you don't mind. Oh, you can call me Flower. Okay. Hi, Nikki. I saw her. I saw her for a second. Oh, that is such a cute one. Hmm. Okay, we have to make a choice. Why didn't it show me the one where they were had their nose together? All right, we're taking. I'm taking too long. I'm taking too long. I really, really like this one here. I think. Okay, I like this guy right here. So I'm gonna do something like this guy. And then I'm gonna I think I might add flower and just do my own little thing because um there's that Bambi and then there's another little cute face pose that he has. So I like this one. So I think we're gonna do this one. And I'm gonna move my water over and hopefully throw my camera behind you guys or my computer behind you guys. My, my, um, hopefully have room to hold my computer up here without anything falling. Whoa! Down what you guys went. Sorry. I'll be actually be able to lean my, my phone onto my computer, which would be a bit better anyway. Now that I just got to see through past my paintbrushes that are in the cup. There we go. So. Hi, Nikki. I'm sorry I missed your little message. It doesn't stay up on my phone for very long. Okay. We are doing Bambi now. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to grab some. I have a whole handful of paintbrushes. And um, some of them I can say the number is on, but some of them are missing the... Things. So I just, what I've done before is I just go with what's comfortable for me and I don't worry about the size of the brushes um, as I'm not. Okay, bye Nikki. Yeah, it's probably super early for her right now. Yes, it is actually <laughs> between 6 and 7 a.m. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is now, uh, I don't think I have my heat tool plugged in but mm, but I gotta keep moving my mouse too what I like to do is go over a little bit hi Donna of um, where I'm gonna paint Bambi so I'm gonna kind of have him this is a weird I gotta look away look back I'm gonna kind of have him over here so I'm gonna paint him in white Usually I use a, you can you see it well enough? Usually I use a, um, but you can use whatever you have. Usually I use a, what's that color that just goes on everything? See? No memory. Um, I can't think of the word right now because I'm now thinking about Bambi. But. I might make him, might be making him too small, but I can always make it a little bit larger. So what I'm going to do is the outline anyways in the white, and you can do it in the whatever paint. Oh, what's that cover paint? You know what I'm talking about. My brain is just not catching it. Hopefully I can see him good enough here. I love his little... Um, face here he's just looking really happy he's playing with his friends in the I don't know this one maybe he's running with his mom with this one but so cute so I'm just doing his outline anyway and the kids don't know that I am streaming so they might come and bug me <laughs> could they just I let them be lazy and wake up now whenever they wanted to actually they're supposed to be cleaning their room but 
I'm also supposed to be probably cleaning the house. So can you see the outlines of Bambi well enough? Make him a little thicker. He's not uh, the girl, Fawn. Fawnia, I can't remember the name of the girl. Muggsy, what's the name of the girl? Bambi's girlfriend. Very long legs. Gesso, that's the word I was thinking about before, gesso. Usually I'll use a bit of gesso to go in the background or gesso to um, you know, do this part where I like to cover up the green. I don't want the green to mess up with my browns or whatever, so I'll do gesso. But right now I'm just using the paint that's here because I'm not sure if I have any. Donna? Oh, hi. Hi, Donna. Sorry. <laughs> no, but... Um, I can't remember the girl deer's name. Here is Bambi back and his little tail and there. So it makes it easy right there if you do a silhouette of the animal or whatever cartoon that you're doing. I find it's I find it makes it pretty easy to to work with. Now I have this one here is just totally off of what the the picture is because I have his ears so small, I have his body so small that I can make it bigger. There we go. So we got kind of a Silhouette of Bambi. And if I don't cover up the whole silhouette with my painting, it's okay because I kind of blend it into the background. But that's how I work it. Yes, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm so, self-taught. I didn't catch that right away because it just kind of disappears. But yeah, I just practice. And that's kind of the thing I've been doing all the time is just practicing. And let's see, I have different browns. This one here is a coffee bean. Bambi is what kind of color? Maybe his coffee bean could be blended in with a bit of the top, but he's more of a, oof, what color is that? I have lots of paints around me, so I can kind of look around. Sorry, guys. But uh, it might not be just on top, like right on the Disney color, but we'll get it close. I wish I could hear you guys ask me questions. <laughs> I know what I'll try to do is if I go to my YouTube, I might be able to catch the questions on there. If you give me one minute, because actually I'm keep, they keep going off really super fast on the phone. So I'm just going to put my, try to get my YouTube on. Oh, I need to add another tab. That's what I got you. And then I can check your questions. Oh, people are leaving. Sorry. Sorry, I'm boring. Oh. Sorry, guys. I switched my account here. Anyway, so. This showed like a few seconds ago I had like seven people watching. Now I have three. Ah, uh, oh well. It's not captivating or whatever. Alright. So we can go here. We can turn the sound off. That's... Oh, I got to correct my spelling on there. Okay, so I am self-taught. 
um, Samantha. Thank you. Okay. Right. Now I'm wondering if I can just. Okay. Oh, thank you, Muggsy. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not boring. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Okay, so I have to flip back and forth to my picture. And to... So I'm going to use English Red. Because I think the top of Bambi's head is English Red. And the... I keep bumping things behind me. And his sides are a little bit more of a creamy color of uh, brown. So I just got to find that color. So another English red. This is, I'm just going to dip in here. Dip. I'm giving my painting a little bit of time to dry as well. So I don't have to rush it. Even though you guys are sitting here probably getting tortured. We don't have to rush it too much. So I'm just going to play with this and see how it looks on here. This is a uh, fluid acrylic, but I'm going to work it in there anyway and see how that works. It's cause my, my paint is damp. We'll see how this works. Maybe we can get it good, maybe. Maybe. It's really, uh, yeah, usually you do a, yeah, sometimes I will start in the weirdest spots that you would think too on the, on a painting. So it's just whatever you feel. Um, there's no real right and wrong. I mean, somebody might say so, but it's how you feel right now. I'm just, I grabbed this color. So I'm just starting with this color. So it's not, like I said, right or wrong. I think that's pretty much his whole back color. I'm kind of I'm not sure if I like his shape of his back that I made, but I didn't make it perfect, but it works. So can you see a little Bambi coming out of there? I might have to do another because this is fluid acrylic and this is just the perfect color. I'm like, I'm just going to grab this one. But it is pretty good. It is pretty close to the right color that I need. So we'll try it. It's been, I'm very rusty too. So let's hope I can get him to look like Bambi. Super rusty. I have been, haven't painted in a really long time. I should get back in. It's been almost, I don't know. I've been painting a little bit here and there, but not enough to feel comfortable. I feel a little bit worried. <laughs> well, not overly, but you know what I mean. Um, not quite confident. What can I use for his rest of him? I have this really weird um, orangey color, and I wonder if I can add a tad of brown to it, because, hmm... I could look for the right color. Actually, I think I found a tan that I can mix in. Kind of antique white. That's super, that's not quite the color I was looking for. We'll try it. Play with it. I like mixing um, paints, but sometimes you just get all these paints and then you want to just see what you can get away with with these. They're pre-mixed for you. But uh, I do find mixing paints kind of obviously a little bit where you can control the color. With When you're mixing pre-colored paints, you just don't know what you're going to get. So, But it's fun to try. I got a little bit of the antique white. And I'm trying this little orangey color. See how much I have left of that. The cat's moving. 
because it's a weird, it's a neat color. It's kind of very dry-ish. It's super dry, but it's got a little moisture to pull some color out. I think I'm going to try to lay this color on there. I don't think it's going to be the right color, but let's try to lay this color on there. I could always, uh, I gotta totally fix his eyes. I could always, um, do something else after if I'm not happy with it. And yeah, it seems a little off, but yeah, his face is not quite coming together yet. <laughs> There's gonna be the parts of the, the painting you're gonna be like, what? Okay, we're gonna Yeah, he's too I'm gonna put some tan on there. He's too orange. And my computer went away. But I like kind of playing with different colors, so that's okay. I'm just going by what's around. Sometimes you can just grab what's around and and uh, make something work. Of course, this is going to get covered up because he's not quite. His face is quite weird right now. He's not quite there yet. Excuse me. Okay. And he's got a bit of white on his belly, so... That's a crazy Bambi looking guy. I need more brown. I thought the orange would be nice, a little background color to it. And of course his eyes and all that kind of stuff are not even on, so let's see if we can find. I gotta check to see if you guys are chatting here. Nobody's chatting, okay. <laughs> no worries. I'm just gonna dig around for some actual decent colors here. Espresso might be too dark. It is, I think, but with that mixture of the color we have from before, it might work. I like mixing colors like really weirdly. I know it sounds funny, but see what I'm gonna get kind of. This is really wet. This is gonna be too dark, maybe. How's it coming along? Not too bad, but a little dark. It's been so long since I painted. I need to find myself a lighter brown. Okay guys, I'm just going to walk to the side here where my paints are. I think 
got to find myself. A couple of colors, I think. Oh, and I do need a black eventually. Okay, so I got a few things like cocoa. I got antique gold. That's not what I need. That could be later. I always like to add gold. And um, raw umber. And now some coca, which will actually make the right. That's the color I kind of needed anyway. The right Bambi color, I believe. Okay. See, it doesn't matter how many layers you, you get on. I'm going to throw in a little bit of cream or white with this. That's a close match to my painting or the picture on the computer. Just spill the paint. It's okay. It's so dry, it won't pour out. Okay. This is the good one. That's a good match. I'll go back to my smaller brush now. Crazy. You guys can chat all you want. <laughs> I can't see it. No, I can check though in a few minutes. It's going in with a little bit more white and coca, the um, buttermilk, and that. I think I'll just kind of go over the whole thing here, because I'm just gonna go over with my white and stuff that I need for his little face. Here we go, it's starting to come now. I do want to capture that cute little smile he does have, that little open mouth. But it doesn't have to be exact, and I'm not that picky for me. I just want it to be looking like Bambi having fun with it I think I made his little elbows a little too big here I'm gonna make it smaller I can just go in there we go that's better of a color I can also put a little bit more white on it there we go. Bambi. So I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to go in with a little buttermilk around a few spots because there's his ears. The outer edge has a bit of buttermilk on them. And the very tops have black and the insides have pink. And this was a painting, I think, that we kind of just thought about right off the top of our heads here. So that's why he's here. If anyone just kind of came in and was wondering what the heck I'm doing. We are just painting Bambi. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be fun. And the more you do this, the easier it is. Although it, I'm like sitting here sweating. No, I'm not. It's actually, I know it's not perfect, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're having fun. And on belly, a little bit more on the belly. And on her ta his tail. I made 
and his tail really big, fluffy tail. I'll have to go back a little bit on. Um, a few spots. So now grab in another brush, I think. Something with more of a straight edge because I'm going to do his little fawn dots. That's Thor. All right, I'm going to do his little fawn dots. Now I wet these brushes ahead of time. I like to use a little bit of a damp brush. So he's got uh, six, seven, eight, eight. And then three more right beside him. He's kind of coming together. <laughs> oh, no worries. I'm glad you're playing. Okay, so he's got one here. Oh, these are little, 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 so this is too big. You can just throw your fingers on there, it doesn't matter. Oh, and my thing went black again. No, so these are too big here. So I'm just going to do one here and one here. And that's his fawn dots on that side. And you can kind of see them on this side. Coming through. And those are his little fawn markings. Now I've got to get his face going on. So you guys can see his little face. I also got to get some pink in his ears. And my cat's making some rustling sound. I had pink. This is kind of not the pink. Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit of... I'm going to do his eyes, I guess, first. His eyes area. This is an angle brush. This is teeny weeny. I have no idea what one it is. It's just one that worked really good with that shape of his um, that worked with the shape of his fawn markings. Now this part might be a little wonky. We'll see how that works. have it a little wonky. It's hard when I have to go switch back and forth on the way I'm looking at things. And his ears are really huge on here too, so I'll have to fix that. So we're going to trim some of this down here. I'll just fix that up with more green after. Made that too big. <laughs> In his eyes. That might not be quite the right shape at the moment, but I'm going to knock off a little bit here because I have too much, I think, here. Okay. I'm going to look for my pink now. I just thought I had pink. And I keep rub rubbing my thing here. I'm right wiping my... Um, he's very pink in his ears. Excuse me, more. Oh, thanks, Val. Where did I spot pink? I'm sure I spotted a pink. got yellow which I do need I think for flowers yellowy and orange 
I have very bright pink. We don't want that. We don't need um, that kind of pink. I could have swore I saw pink. We can make it. I got red down here. And I got white. So we'll need that anyways for his eye. We will look. For, we got primary red so we can make actual pink. I need extra space for my my lid's really small here. Painting. Mixing. Okay. So I got a true red in here. And don't need too much. Hey. The coming back on. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Is the sorry guys? It, I'm wondering if the stream is still working here. Okay, good. That was really weird. Okay, I it might turn off again. I had on um, off my Wi-Fi. I had on um, just streaming from my phone. But so I'm surprised that it went off. But now I went on to my Wi-Fi, so I'm not sure why. But my Wi-Fi is working good on my computer, so it should be fine. But sometimes it freezes when it's on my Wi-Fi. So hopefully I'm not using too much data or something. Who knows? I don't know. That was really strange. So I'm glad I'm back. Yeah, it was really weird. I was like, I thought I was totally gone or there. Like it was, seemed like it was, it was really really gone now I'm having a little trouble with this because I'm going back and forth but let's try to it's not going to look the greatest at the moment I'm just trying to get um, the surrounding here a little bit more it looks, it looks like a big googly eye thing right now but it's not quite what it's going to look like at the end anyways that was really strange so I did get the ears on, a little bit too pink. I'm just gonna go over a bit, or with white. As I was doing this, um, that's when the problem with the Wi-Fi thing happened there. It is a little bit pink. <laughs> I'm just going over that. We can fix that up after here. It's so hard for you guys to see what's going on too, being so far. But I'm going to try to get just the eye in here and work around the, the eye shape after here. Because I'm not getting that eye shape with the, the tanny color yet. It's just not working. Not working at all. That was really, really strange. <laughs> My Bambi's not looking too great right now. <laughs> that could change. That could totally not. <laughs> oh, I lost some people. Darn. Oh, well. Uh, well, I understand if it's like says it's not working, which that's what it said. So actually, I should have actually. I'm gonna pull this black off. I just put black on my brush. I'm gonna go in with my barn red color here. What is it called? English red. Throw in some English red first. Hopefully, he's dry. I need some English red for eyes. And I'm just going to go on layers. So I'm going to do the English red. 
it might not be dry enough. Definitely have to either put some heat on that or let's see what kind of mouth does he have. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not having a good Bambi moment here. <sighs> Gotta draw out, paint out his mouth. I should have probably sketched them all out first. Okay. He is going to be, again, a bit of this color, a bit of the cocoa and buttermilk for his mouth. Around his little face. If that's even creamy enough. I'm just going to ignore the nose part and just paint over that. I know it's looking a little weird. <sighs> I might have to fix that up. That's looking terrible. Yes, I do have to fix that up. It's looking crazy. Oh boy. Okay. It's got to come together. Just got to. There's my old phone again. Okay, his eyes are coming along a little bit. His face is a little bit not working well for me, but it is kind of harder, I find now, like looking at if I had the computer right beside it and going side by side, it'd be a little bit easier, I think. It is a little difficult to do that turning back and forth. But we can fix it up. It will get fixed up. His face is just totally funny right now. And there is that blue I have here too that I can use for a little bit of his nose. Because there's a bit of a background color. It will come together. It's just there's always a part of your painting that kind of looks scary. And that's this part right now. Once I get him going a little bit better, he'll be fine. Maybe you should use a thinner paintbrush, but. There's some correcting to do on that face, but there we go. Okay. my computer is going to go away on me again. Okay, so there is some correcting to do on that face, but that's okay. I have my mouse here. I'm trying not to get anything wet around it. Let's see here. And that's not enough light. There is some correcting to do around his face and stuff. And some outlining, I think, with something. I don't know if I have a thin enough paintbrush to do some outlining.
He's not looking too fabulous at the moment, but... You can get it looking a little bit better. <laughs> he looks quite funny in his eyes right now. Really funny. Uh, let's see. Try and get in some of the spots here that I had too much white to. I know it's really hard to see. And I do need to outline something, maybe with a fine pen, because you don't always have to use. Um, you don't always have to use um, paint for everything. It's also, I have to say, a little harder to do this, like I said, training back and forth and also kind of knowing you guys are watching is a little difficult, but not like, I know if I don't get it right, you guys are, are forgiving, but <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay. I want to do a little bit of his ears, tips and stuff. It's just still another step that we're working on here. Just another step. But I mean, this it's seriously not a great painting, but you can just keep playing with it until you get it the way you more want it. Seriously, I'm super rusty. Now if I can do a super rusty painting, although right now it's not looking half decent, but and I need new brushes. You guys definitely can play with it. Have fun. Anyone can paint. It's just practice. And like I said, that's why I'm kind of lacking right now. Is I haven't been playing with my paints for that long lately. In the last year. My bad. So. It's my fault. Just trying to get in there, nose in there, but I think I'm might be getting it too big. Might be getting his nose too big. Might be looking a little too girly too. But. We'll see after I get it all co kind of corrected around his face a bit better too. I think I'm gonna need a pen or something to get right into his, some spots. I can't seem to think that I'm gonna be able to get such a small painting. Look at see, it's not the painting, it's my brush. It's, it's the, uh, the hairs are kind of just, cause I leave them in the water. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get what I'm looking for in his eyes. I can try. I think I've got too much water going on in there now. I might have to start drying this up. It's looking really... Am I even getting paint in there? 
Yeah, no. It's, I think this one's fluid, so. Quite the black on him. Oh. Yes, this is my bad. Look at, I leave them in the water too long. <laughs> and then I wonder why I can't paint. All right. Fix up some of his things. There's somebody moving around out there. I definitely think I would do better with a little pen around his face and stuff. Get some of that. Really get some of that coca. Coco. Yep. Not quite Bambi-esque yet. <laughs> Working on it. Let's see if this black is dry enough and then it kind of go over. Not really. I'm risking his whole face. I might have to stop. Risking his whole middle face. And then I don't have enough big enough hair up here either to kind of build on that. Build on the back of his hair here. Head. His mouth could be bigger too. So working on Bambi, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's kind of coming together slowly. The stream might be just like a long stream. Okay. I'm probably trying to rush it too much, that's my problem. So I'll have to let that dry before I can do anything around his mouth now. He's looking better. So, not really great. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for poor Bambi. I didn't give him any doom justice today. Poor Bambi. Going back and forth is quite a bit harder. It's crazy. It is quite a bit different. I'm really... Maybe should have found what my colors were that I mixed here. Got to add a little bit more to him, his body, and I kind of. What did I do? What did I do?
kind of Bambi. Bambi is also too quite flat, so I can give him a little bit more. You know, when they made the character, they're, they were a little bit more flat on them. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more highlights as I'm going. It'll make me feel happier. <laughs> That'll make me feel a little bit better. I always tend to do that too anyway. Add a little bit more. Makes me feel like I'm, I don't know, doing a little bit on my own. Okay. Definitely have to get more white around his mouth too. I'm just not getting the right brush. There goes my picture. I'll definitely do details in like inks and stuff like that for around his mouth and that kind of thing. I'm not getting the right quite color in here is either like his tongue and his and his mouth is not quite matching. But there we go. Now I gotta work on his eyes still because I still don't have that sparkle in his eyes yet. And the white is not prominent in his eyes yet. And his hair is definitely not big enough. There we go, fix that part. Sometimes you can just see a problem off balanced. And super off balanced there it was. And with like going back and forth, it's still not quite getting what. <sighs> quite not getting what I want on him, but. I guess I, I need to get a little pen in there to get some detail. <laughs> All right. Time for his eyes to look a little bit brighter, I think. Although I think I need to work a little bit more on the one eyeball. Oh. So if I had the um, thicker paint, it probably would be a better idea, but I'm just going with what's near me, so. Let's make this eye a little bit more round. And that's where I mess up sometimes, it's like little hairs are sticking out. Layers. Now I gotta work on the other eye because it's too black and I need a little bit of his red in his eye. If I'm seeing that correctly on my computer. Okay, gotta let that dry before I even tempt the white. <laughs> He's coming together a bit, right? A little harder than um, if I had him right beside me, picture. But. reference picture beside me would have been really helpful. Okay, 
But I'm still whining about it, eh? It's like, stop whining about it, eh? Okay, I'm definitely going to go buy myself some better paint and actually rinse them out. Because now I'm like, this is not cool what I did with these paints. They're too, um, crazy. Paint brushes, I mean. Okay. We're still making it work, though. I just want to make sure. Putting a little layer, another layer. I'm always doing layer and layer and layer. And then one layer will go a little bit over another layer. And just so it kind of covers up what I've done. Plus, you're never going to get it right like the first time. So it works to kind of over paint a little bit. And then like the black is really big here. And then I go over top of that layer. You know what I mean? And then I kind of fix up what how it's supposed to look like. So I overpainted the black just because my brushes are not the best in shape, the best. And then I kind of come in. But you guys probably can't see that too well. Right now he's looking really awful, but he's coming a little bit together. He's totally not really great at all. I'm really super rusty, but it's, 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 it's a thing. It's working. It's a deer anyway. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm going to keep working on it and trying to fix it. And then we got to work on some flowers too. So that would be the easy part, I hope. <laughs> so I'm going in maybe a little more green around him to fix up any... I have way too big of a face here too for what the shape of his mouth is. See now, a second ago, he had a huge face cheeky and it's starting to take shape better because I'm kind of fixing it up with the green now I'm over painting but then I'm kind of t bringing in my lines with with what I've done that and then I kind of can fix some of the mistakes that way it works pretty good I find This is one of those paintings that would take, uh, it would be hard to watch, I imagine, especially for a bunch of hours, but. Some people paint forever, right? It takes forever to paint, so. It's, uh, yeah. Fixing some of the lines here, because I didn't do thick enough lines or thin enough lines in his legs and I'm just waiting for what I'm doing now is just waiting for his uh, eyes to dry so I don't mess up his his whites of his eyes with the black so I'm trying to just do some other things to make him look a little bit more like the way Bambi's supposed to look so I'm mixing my cream in my green and trying to get in fixing the legs here. Getting some better shapes on the edges. And it doesn't hurt to play with these things and just paint right over your canvas if you don't like it. So. A little darker green back there. Let's see, around his arm. This one's way too, probably too big of a shoulder, but. Go. 
lifting up his leg. Filling in a little bit more green on off his back because I think I got too much back in there for the way he's supposed to be positioned. And that's how I'm kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, that's how I'm kind of cutting edges and making him a little bit better shape. Although he doesn't look quite Bambi-ish yet, but he looks like a deer. And like I said, the pen around there I think is going to make it look a lot better. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there with this brush the way I want to. Because I have it <laughs> such taken care of so well. Okay, let's do his eyes white again. His very bottom. Really white, not the cream, just the white, white, white. This one, and then the might have to put some brown in there because that eyeball is still way too big for him on that one. Oh, there goes my screen again. Trying to get in there. Don't know how well that's working. It's, it feels like some of the color is coming off, but some of the. And my canvas keeps moving. Yeah, with that one, I'm thinking that I messed up that eye pretty good. Getting there, but not quite. I might have to finish this one off the line, guys. <laughs> I might. It's quite... It's quite a scary look. Especially considering, yeah, Bambi's face is not quite going the way I wanted him to go right there. It's so hard going back and forth, but. Who's whining me? I'm whining about it a lot. Totally. Need to practice more. Totally need to practice more, guys. <sighs> That's okay. I yeah, totally need to practice more. How are you guys doing? Let's see if there's any chat. Nope. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for liking my video. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Pull more paint out. That's a thick paint in there right now. But. I should have drawn Bambi and colored him. That would have been a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Stop complaining. I'm complaining a lot. I'm just kind of getting it. something's like a little off with his little arm. But I think it's because this is supposed to be coming down from his 
and this is his front chest and this is part of his arm right here so it's looking a little weird so I gotta just fix that up He needs a distinction there of some sort. Oh, now I got green on him. Oh no! Thank it for wiping my brush. Not rinsing it. It's getting a little bit better, but not quite the way I want him. Anyways, that's a Bambi-ish guy. <laughs> Bambi-ish. Doesn't look quite Bambi, but we'll work on it. Just a matter of shaping up some plate pieces here. <sighs> Not quite the Bambi yet. All right. I think we need to start working on some background stuff or else we're going to be not quite getting him done and then work on him maybe a little bit later once he dries a bit. I think I've been playing with him a lot maybe. I just realized this should come down right here. See, that's the thing. No, it's really weird, but there's his chest. See, you just add, all of a sudden you'll notice something and and then add it. And it's already coming together a bit better. And now he's starting. Now that makes sense to me. So... I just dropped my paint brush, or my paint palette. Luckily, it's just not very fluid. And also, I just realized that his chin could go up a bit more, or his chest can go up a bit more. We'll fix up his little face still. There's like a big piece of something here got a little lump of paint there so his face is not quite right but we'll fix that up okay this small okay Bambi's not looking the greatest at the moment we're gonna ignore him for a while <laughs> can we believe it this is too much it's too much let's see if I can grab another orange this orange is pretty dry. We have some fluid-ish orange here. And my painting went away, or my drawing. Let's see if anyone else has chatted. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, I had no people had to leave. It's long. It's not something you can really, and it is actually quite, um, when I'm doing it every day, it is a lot easier. So that's something you guys got to think about when you're, you want to create. If you want something to be easier, play with it every day. So I think I'm going to have to like challenge myself to 
work at it every day, maybe do a little card painting or something. Because that's a definite thing that I need to do because obviously I'm very super, super rusty. So what I'm going to do now is try to make these flowers in the field. Change my thing for a little bit and either A, I can go back and fix that really sad looking Bambi. Which will have to happen eventually, but um, I can just put some cream white, make some flowers all over here. Some flower shapes. And then I'm just doing them in this color first, kind of whiten it up so then it doesn't alter the color of the paint like I said before. For I'm going to use bright yellow and orange on these flowers. But we're thinking spring and like I said, Bambi can get it fixed later. Let's not worry about him or we can go crazy. Oops. We can go crazy worrying about him. Let's do something fun. Let's like do some flowers and just go crazy with four or five petals. So I have a, like a little bit of a squarish brush and I'm just going where I think petals should go. Some of them are shaped nicely. Some of them are shaped a little bit different. You can go in the corner of your brush to get some smaller petals. So get wide pieces, just really kind of spread your brush out a bit. That one has four, some of them will have five. These ones are closer forward. So I'm just going to kind of fan out some like this just for some further away ones. And I'm not sure if I want to make them go all around. Maybe a little bit. Okay, because I don't know what I want to do with the background yet. Do I want to go all the way around or not? I could, but... We don't know what we want to do with trees or anything yet. Okay. So that's that. Let them dry for a few minutes. That's fun. That was really relaxing compared to his body and face, which took an hour. Terrible. Probably. Oh, it's terrible, right? And like I said, his face doesn't even look right, but we're having fun with it anyways. I need yellow. I'm going to go with can cadmium. Can whatever. Uh, and I'm not sure if this orange is the right orange for me. I kind of like, I might mix them up. I might mix these two up on here. So we'll go touch some orange on these flowers. A little bit orange and yellow. It's not totally dry, so that's okay though, because the cream can kind of change the petal colors and I'm just gonna go and play because this part is the relaxing part that other part was a little bit more stressful for me so I'm going kind of half and half on mixing it a bit for that color of orange that I'm going for orangey yellow flowers just to pop it and it's their orange flowers on the the picture. Oh, I'm so wishing Bambi looked better. Let's see here. He looks like a Bambi prance. <laughs> oh. Hi Michelle, how are you? 
Sorry, I haven't uh, noticed. I'm like looking away from my phone so I can't see the chat very well. But I'm checking every once in a while. I'm trying to. Ah! Now, if I can do it on a little wobbly thingy here, you guys can do it. See how I'm just kind of making it look like there's some flowers here? Pushing into where I had pre decided to put some flowers. This is the fun part, is just inventing a little bit and just kind of loosening up because I'm just totally stressing out over Bambi. He's not even the right color, so I'm probably going to fix, fix that later on, too. But I was just grabbing what was near. I'm kind of liking that a bit. He needs a little bit more. Yellow and stuff. In, I'm going this way. I'm turning it. And I'm, I probably have a little bit of green lurking here. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try to get some, maybe a little bit of green in here. I don't know what I'm doing. The background is really wispy, but I didn't do that part really. Um, if you grab a little orange or something, don't panic. Because that's going to happen if they're so wet. I was thinking that I had the, like the little light part of the forest, but I wasn't sure what picture I wanted to do. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of more lighter in the center of my canvas. That's okay. I could still add trees coming down and stuff. Oh, I got a lot of yellow here. But I could still add trees and that coming down because just because the picture is one way. That's where I like playing with what I feel like doing. Because you gotta make something of your own too. Although I really wish he looked more Bambi-ish. <laughs> but, thanks Muggs, I know. <laughs> but you know what? That's my fault for not practicing, so. You're not just going to get it automatically. you got to play, even if you've been painting for years and you stop. you got to play a little bit. you got to expect it, uh, a masterpiece right off the bat. I'm going to add just a little bit more yellow in here. I still don't know what I want to do. I think if I were to turn this thing around and do it on the table, I know I'd be able to do a better job too. I was like, oh. I wanted to add flower in here, but I didn't do bandy justice, so I'm not sure if I'm going to even try to do a flower at the moment. But just because I'm, you know, done for now or whatever painting when I'm done doesn't mean I can't play with it and add more and work with it. Playing around with the color here around them, trying to figure out what I want to do. Need more white on his tail, I think.
there he is so far not quite character I was maybe I can add more stuff to the like the add tree and stuff I got too but anyway it's not quite the oh, I'm gonna grab some of that blue I had before too I think it'll work better at my other brush work better green and blue mixture that I had. There goes a puppy. And a little bit of white. So I gotta make something over here too. I gotta figure out what I want to do with him. Okay, that's him for now. I think we should probably, oh, it's been a long video, wait and see what I can do with him. I think I might add a tree or something. I don't know, but I know that he does have to get a little bit fixed up. Um, quite a bit fixed up. He's kind of looking pretty scary right now. But I can, it's, I'm going to actually do a smaller one, I guess, but smaller paintings can be just as time consuming, I guess, but um, how many of you guys are still around? There's still four people around. And, yeah, the flowers are finally going on. Um, they could be a little bit better, but. And this, like I said, also too, that the distance is not really helpful for you guys either, right? Distance. But, we are kind of visiting, I guess. Although I'm like, Consumed by poor Bambi's face. <laughs> I think these flowers are supposed to be a little bit more yellow. Oh. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to get a little bit more yellow in here, I think. I could probably leave it close to here though I went kind of backwards I put my little spot in and I'm like working a little bit on the petals but it doesn't matter do whatever way you want to I'm just adding a little bit more yellow Is supposed to be a little bit more yellow, I think. Messy, crazy flowers. Might do a tree too, I don't know. But not right now, I think. I think we'll have to come back to this. Of course, I can't just leave it like this. Looking almost like Bambi. <laughs> and, um, but we can do another stream and come back to it. 
another day. I thought I haven't come on in a long time, so already again, doing it again. And I gotta work tomorrow, so things to do, take care of the animals, all that stuff. Gets busy. So I just gotta remind myself, time to create. And even if it doesn't look perfect, whatever. It's gonna, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece in the first couple of hours of playing with it anyway. Or even, just as long as you're having fun. But for me, I'm like, what do I expect? You know, I'm not, it doesn't have to be a certain look right away. Some people can do that. And that's perfect for them. Um... Everyone's different, so my art kind of goes crazy, and then at, t at, at the end it tends to fall together. But usually when I'm creating, you guys see the fast version, fast forward, editing, whatever. And when you see it live, it's totally different than, than that. Whoops. Check if anyone's, like, chatting. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's okay. And it's really weird doing it like this again, too. Like, I mean, I've done canvas up when I'm doing classes, but usually you have your picture with you right there or whatever, too. And yeah, but it's working. I probably will add some of the other characters at some point too, but I think the stream is getting super long, so I don't know. But um, I think adding the other characters would help a lot. So, um, I know sometimes people can stream for hours and hours. I don't know. I've no. I, it's like. I could probably stay here forever, but do people want to watch forever? I don't know. See, this is not the right size or brush either. Hmm. Not the right size. I'm doing. Hmm. Not liking that. Not at all. Too thick. This one will work. My crooked thin one here. A little bit better. Just trying to make some kind of stem or something. These flowers are all kind of floating, but I don't think you guys can probably see what I'm doing. It's going to kind of all go in there anyway. Blend in. I'm not sure if I'm liking how it's looking, but I need something really... really fine. But there'll probably be other things along with them, so I don't know. Yeah, some of these are too thick, but... Yep, 
Look at that, some yellow. Anyway, I think that's about it for today. Gotta get some things going. I think that should be... <laughs> it took a long time to get to this point and I'm not even close to done this one. Little thing. So, I think I'll have to come back to this one, guys. I might have to go over eh, Bambi's obviously looking terrible. But, that's that for now. He's not looking great himself yet, so he's got some ways to go. I'm quite embarrassed at this point of how he's looking, but I'm sure we'll get him to come back to what he's supposed to look like. Uh, I just got to fix up his little, his little eyes a bit better. I think one, one's way too high, so I'm going to repaint that one. But considering I'm going back and forth like this with my look for looking at Bambi, he's not too, too bad. And yeah, but that's that. So I think I'll have to come back, guys, and um, finish him off another time. <laughs> Thank you, Muggsy. Oh, thanks, Artsy girl. Yeah, I had like I said, if I practice every day, I get way better at this. But yeah, I like my. I, I think I'm gonna do some more ATCs. Okay, well, you guys have fun. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I guess I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.